yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she love me when I'm in it. And she never be pretending. Not in this room. She gon' tell you what she bought it. Cause she know you can't afford it. No, you can get it. Looking exquisite. No competition. Stay on the pivot. Who be watching? They be plotting. She's so mother independent. Mama be peep. Got on her grind. She had to get out her mama house. Daddy be tripping. Now she be whipping. Ain't no more paper on granny couch. Fashion over that. I am so lucky to have my youngest guest today is Miss Kara May. She is from North Carolina, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself as well as her first time being on TV or her first TV role, as well as her life in pageants. She's done so many, has won so many. Without further ado, hi, Kara. How are you? Kara May. Good. Me. Good? How are you enjoying being home with your family? amazing <laughs> what makes it so amazing do you I miss get to, i huh? get to play more time with them oh that's so sweet so you enjoy playing with your um so you have your mom and dad and then you also have a is it a little sister yes yeah so you enjoy playing with them i love playing with them oh what is your favorite thing to play uh probably being pretending to be her mother. <laughs> so you like to boss her around is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so you've been doing pageants since you were three. Do you remember your first pageant? Uh, yes, ma'am, I do. Oh, what do you remember about it? I was doing a cheerleading that it was like a cheerleading thing with Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. And it was like really fun. I got, I love shaking it and I love doing my little pom poms that I had. I had like a full cheerleading outfit on. Oh, it was it's so cute. You know, I actually have the video and I'm going to show it a little bit later so they, so everybody can see it because it is adorable. I will go ahead and, got, and let you guys know, the viewers, I can't afford Taylor Swift's music, so I did have to change the music, but it is so cute. Now, now that you're older and you're still doing pageants, how much do you love doing them? I love doing them now. <laughs> yeah, so you've, let's see, you've had... You've held many local oh, excuse me, titles like Baby Miss Fayetteville, Little Miss Autryville, and Miss Cumberland County Fair, a youngster production with um, Pat Freezy. And that's where you got discovered by a device talent agency to start doing acting. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me a little bit about, do you remember doing that last pageant, Miss Cumberland County? I do. What's your favorite part? I got to sing and go on the rides. Oh, so you like to sing as well. And you got to go on the rides. Oh, that's got to be a lot of fun. Now, what would you tell other girls that might be interested in doing pageants? What would you say is a good reason to do them? It's like you get to meet more friends and make friends. And, and I'm going to give this advice to girls and boys. It's not about winning. It's having fun and doing your best. You 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 can think that you are you did amazing, and you did amazing. You were so cute and so smart. How did you get so smart? <laughs> I heard your favorite hobby is reading. What are some of your other favorite hobbies? WWE. <gasps> WWE, I'm going to have a WWE character, or not character, that doesn't sound like the right name to say. <laughs> I'm going to have a WWE wrestler on next month, um, Charmel. I've seen a lot of WWE videos. Yeah, so who's I your have, favorite? My, my favorite are AJ Lee and Ronda Rousey. Oh, I'll have to see if I can reach out to Charmel to see if I can get them next, maybe. Yeah. So, can you tell us about your part that you're doing tonight? You're going to be on your, is this your first TV show? It is. How exciting. Do you remember doing the audition for it? I do. That okay, what did you, what did you have to do? That was my first audition that I did. That was your first audition? Well, congratulations. That's a Thank big you. one. 
Thank you. So how did it go? Were you, did you self-tape it at home or did you go somewhere for your audition? I self-tape it at home. Mm-hmm. My mom taped it and I would do what they, what my agent told me that I was going to film. Okay. And I had to hold my ice cream and I had to drop it and I had to start <gasps> crying. Oh no, spoiler alert. Are you allowed to tell us that the ice cream drops? Oh. whopsie daisies (laughs) it's okay i think it's in the um uh, spectrum news because you got to go on the news too and they did an interview with you and i think in the video they show the ice cream drops so i think you're safe (laughs) did you have fun working on set was it a since it was your first i guess first time being on a um, tv show did you have fun i love Seeing all the people, meeting them. I even had my own trailer. <gasps> Tell us about the trailer. What do it, you remember about it? It was like it had a couch and it had my own name on it. And it was, I loved it so much. It wasn't so, I have to ask, would you suggest to other kids to get into acting too? Yeah, they should. It's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Now, how about for your character? What is she, is she somebody's daughter? What exactly can you tell me about your character? Who is she in the in the TV show? So I'm a little girl going to an ice cream shop with my dad. Now, were you nervous having somebody play your dad that wasn't your dad? Not really. Oh, good. It's fun playing makeup and pretend, right? You get to, especially when you get to play with ice cream. That was my favorite part. (laughs) How about craft services? That's always my daughter's favorite part as well. Do you know craft services where all the snacks are, all the candy and chips? Well, besides the actual acting part, she loves going to craft services because she can always get things she can't normally get at home. (laughs) Well, you've been so much fun. I want to make sure your mom gets to answer some questions as well for us. Is she right there? Yep. Hi. Hi, mom. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So nice to meet you. And thank you for being here with us today and sharing your story. Yes. So what what about Cara that you were, or Cara May that you noticed that you're like, I need to get this girl in pageants because you did pageants as well. Is that right? Yes, I did them as a little girl, and I stopped when I was about four years old. But Kara, we noticed with Kara May when she was younger, was her personality. She is just a vibrant child. (laughs) She's always been just a vibrant little spitfire. And pageants was the most positive place to showcase that personality. And when you saw that first pageant, What were you thinking when you saw her up there on the stage? Well, the best thing is we always joke. She came out and she had this walk. We did not teach her how to walk on stage, but she walked like George Jefferson. She had this. I love the Jefferson. So that's hilarious. Well, she had a George Jefferson strut and all I could do was laugh and cry. We did not tell her how to walk. Like we didn't even think of that. We just told her where to go. So she came out strutting like that, and the faces she gave, I just, I was crying at the end of it because it was so funny. (laughs) All right. Well, look, we're going to hold on for just one second so we can actually show everyone that video. So bear (laughs) with me for a minute. All right. Okay. I'm going to disappear, and you guys are going to be able to see it. You won't be able to hear me, but I'll still be able to hear you. I'm just going to pre-warn you, but here we go. Hold on, let me get my. See the video. I I I. It's like hard to remember seeing it because I really.
Do you remember anything from from that video? Did it bring back any memories? It was fun, wasn't it? It was fun. <laughs> yeah. And then um, your mom was telling me that you're now also doing cheerleading competitions too. Is that right? We took a year off, but oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we took this year off. She's going to go back next year to be on the bigger girl team. So oh. she's gonna, on the mini monsters. Yeah, so she'll go back and be on a bigger team. Um, and she's really excited about that. <laughs> now, so you were discovered at your pageant. How did, how did that happen? I broke out my sash. Oh, you brought out your sass. <laughs> and then you were approached. Is that what happened as well? They came up. To, oh, I think they were judged it, right? The um, device mm -hmm. talent was judging the competition. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Oh, the dog's back. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about um, your role that you're doing tonight. It's at 10 o'clock at night. So are you going to be able to watch or are you going to wait and watch it tomorrow? Or have you already seen it? So we're going to stay up and watch it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's no problem for me. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> but you love sleeping, don't you? In the mornings, but at nights, I feel like I feel like it's like an, in the morning. You like yeah. to stay up. Yeah, until 1 a.m. or 2. <laughs> One of the joys of being virtual learning. How yeah. is that going for you? How are you enjoying virtual learning? a lot of fun isn't it it, it kind of is because i have my mom here and when when i do my homeschool homework which i always do it's like she's right here with me instead of i have to go to my actual teacher and tell her and stuff and at least i have my mom here so <laughs> i can ask her all the questions that I <laughs> You have your own Siri and your mom, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, now, tell me a little bit, uh, Chrissy, right? The, yes. Your mom. Okay. Um, Chrissy, can you tell us a little bit cause, about yourself as well? Because you started in pageants as well, right? Or are you, yes. Well, we were talking about that. I just, re I can't remember if we did it on air or off air. So I want to make sure we address it just to be safe. I did pageants as a small girl. Um, I did them until I was about four years old. And then my mom said I gave a heavily dramatic exit speech. <laughs> and um, I guess I retired on stage. Oh. And so she said after, you know, giving a very verbal retirement speech at four, um, that's when I started doing other things. And I still danced. My um, grandmother owned a dance studio. So I danced until I was about 13. Okay. So, now, so you no clue where Kara got dramatics or anything. <laughs> so your mom is also <laughs> the one that takes her to a lot of these pageants as well. You were telling me about, a little bit about that. Can you share with everyone else? So pageantry in our family is a team. We do, when we go in, we go in with everything. And so my mom and I take her to every pageant together. Her dad um, comes with us to almost every pageant that he's not gone. So her dad's in the army. So when he is available, he is there with us, cheering us on. Um, her daddy knows every routine she does. He oh. tried to do that with me. He does them with oh. her. Oh he my gosh, cake. how cute! He takes, like, They've had shake off me. competitions. <laughs> I won. Yes, you did win. I won everyone. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. So, what do you think you want to do when you grow up? I. I want to be a hematologist also, and I kind of want to, like, it's like, I want to have my own pets, and it's like, I want some new pets. Pets. <laughs> yeah, I just want pets and be a hematologist. Okay. Now, what made you want to get into being a hematologist? You don't hear a lot of seven-year-olds that say they want to be a hematologist. I, I just don't like people to get sick because... Mm -hmm. It's not, like, fair for some people to get sick, and some people are not. And I want to try to find a cure for some of these, like, sicknesses, and it's, like, hard for people. Mm -hmm. so that's why I want to try to find a cure. Well, I have no doubt that you'll do exactly whatever you put your mind to, because you are uh, so smart. And so what about school? Since you're doing it now virtually, what are your favorite subjects to do? Is science one? 
I yeah, I like science, and I also like doing the math ones and okay. measuring. I like those. You love that. Them. Seems like that fits right there with hematologist. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so with acting. I have to ask, what made you get into it? Even though Device Talent came up to you to invite you into the agency, what did you think about it going from pageants to now doing film? It It's kind of busy now because we have acting and then we have like something to practice or pageants and then it's like back and forth with each one and it's like really hard to go each one and then each one and then <laughs> each one and then each one. It's hard. Yeah. How do you yeah, balance it all? Yeah. I can only imagine. So are you, so I can see why you're enjoying all this time with your family since you're normally on the road going to different places all the time. Mm-hmm. Now, do you have a coach that you have that works with you for modeling and for acting and for pageantry? I have Mrs. Shanda. Miss Chelsea. Miss Chelsea gives me my routines, and Miss Shanda helps me fix them up. Oh, nice. What? With model mavens. It's model mavens. Oh, that's the, um, they help you with the modeling part. What would you say for any other girl who might want to get into pageants? What would be some of your tips that you've learned from those coaches that you can share? Uh, pretty feet. Pretty feet. (laughs) <laughs> Don't forget those, because judges like to look at your feet and your face. So that's their most pointing. Teach them your smile. What's your trip? Your tip to a smile? So my tip for a smile yeah. is to think of something that made you laugh in your head, and and then make you smile, and that and make you remember that memory, and then you would make that smile, and you would laugh in that smile. Big a giggle smile. <laughs> so cute so for on that same token might as well go ahead and give us some acting tips do you have any acting tips you can give for um children that are interested in getting into acting i do so one tip is that if you're a little nervous mm-hmm. what you can do is you can start getting used to it and talking to your people that you have that you're going to be filming with and get to know more about them so you don't feel you feel comfortable with them that's what uh-huh. i do that's a really good one to make sure you're comfortable with your with the people you have to act with cuz a lot of acting is just reacting right it kind of is basically <laughs> yeah cuz you had to react to your ice cream falling I did it like a hundred times, so I got to lick my ice cream a hundred times. Ooh, now that's a nice benefit because sometimes with on camera or on movies or modeling jobs, the food you can't really eat it because they've sprayed it with stuff to make it look pretty. But you could really eat the ice cream. That's cool. Um, before we did the real ice cream, I had fake ice cream. Okay. So the people are in all had fake ice cream, and then you got the real. One. And then I got the real one. The that kind- makes sense. If so it wouldn't were melt. wondering what the kind was, it okay. was cookies and cream with Oreos. That's, <gasps> I love that. That's your favorite? Mm-hmm. That's my daughter's favorite, too, which is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like blueberry cheesecake in that. Blueberry cheesecake. <gasps> Ooh, I haven't had that one. Blueberry cheesecake. It's at our, our Hope Mills farm. It's really. Oh, okay. That's down where you guys, because you guys are in Fayetteville, right? Right outside of Fayetteville. We're in Cook okay. County. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not that familiar with that area, so bear <laughs> with me. But I I assume an army, I'm like, oh, Fort Bragg. <laughs> That's all I pretty much know. So what's it like being a military kid? It's really hard because it's really sad, too, because mm-hmm. it's not all the time you get to see your mom or dad because they're always gone and stuff. And my dad is gone for right like for like two months, helping giving food to the people. Mm. It's like we FaceTime him, and it's really hard to see him as much. It's difficult, and but he's helping with the coronavirus, giving out food and stuff, helping with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. It's, I'm glad you're able to FaceTime him though, and spend some time there. Do you guys ever play games? We play like 
we we would play games together, me and my mom and my sister. Mm-hmm. Like, like little games, and we would put my dad on the phone, and we'll play games with him too. So, oh, that's fun! And sing songs. <laughs> you love singing songs with daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the fun games you guys can play? Because I'm sure there's a there's a lot of other military kids that maybe miss their dads or moms as well, and would love to know what kind of games you guys play. We would play like singing games. Who would see the best? <laughs> uh, and like sing to the rhythm and of course daddy would always win because he always has the voice to match it <laughs> <laughs> now you guys have a cute oh go ahead sorry and we also would play like a little game where we would take something and we would like pass it around and if we if we if you drop it mm-hmm. you have to you have to you have to miss your turn in it so that's what, that's difficult. Yeah, we would play like hot potato. We would play different. If you drop it, then you can't play. You have to miss your next turn. Oh, fun. Now, I'm also a military brat. So that's why I was asking all those different questions. Because people don't always realize it is very, it can be very difficult on families when your family has to leave and you don't know when you're going to see them again. So it's great that you're giving some great advice on games. Is there any other advice you would like to give to other military kids that are out there? If it's raining, you could go out. If it's not raining, you could go outside. You could play like these little games running back and forth. And I love swinging on my tree swing. That's my favorite thing to do outside. That sounds like fun. Now, what are some of the other things you like to do? I know you mentioned you like reading, but what are some of your favorite movies? Have you been binging any movies while you've been home? Uh, not really movies. I've been loving this show. It's called Fuller House. There used to be it called Full House, okay. but I love Fuller House. I, you know, I've watched Full House, but I haven't watched Fuller House. But I remember you also love shark movies. I love shark movies. <laughs> now, which shark movies do you like to watch? Five-Headed Shark, Six-Headed Shark, Jaws. I like Jaws to Revenge. <laughs> Sharknado. I haven't watched that yet. I've been waiting to. <gasps> You're Revenge. in for a treat. Wait. <laughs> I get to watch Shark Revenge today. Oh. <gasps> Today's the 30th. Yay! <laughs> I get to see my show and watch my movie. Okay. Oh, fun. But now it's have to... going to be on Tuesday, but it's Thursday. It happens. Every... I think right now everybody is confused on which day of the week it is. It's just because it's you're still the same place for the most part. It's kind of hard <laughs> to keep up. It is. And yeah, because I might remember the date, but the date and the day of the week, mm, probably not so much. I'm we just have gonna... like a little flipper thing, so we know which it is. Today uh... is if... We made a classroom in the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in my mom's bedroom, we would do a classroom, and I'll sit on a desk. Oh, that's so cute. Chair table, and I would do my homework. Oh, how fun. Well, I want to make sure, because you have a lot of fans that are making comments, and I want to make sure I read them out to you so Ooh, you can what? hear. What? Yeah, you got tons of fans. I have an Instagram, and that I, I, care, I am Kara. Oh, I didn't know you had an Instagram. I would have tagged your pictures. I also pictures. have a Facebook that's called Kara Make On. Okay, wait. So I am Kara. That's your Instagram? I am Kara May. Oh, I am Kara May. You um, keep telling me about the Kara May, and I still <laughs> keep saying Kara. I am so that sorry, Kara May. I am Kara May is my is my Instagram, and my Facebook is Kara May Con. Okay, well, let's see what hear all the different comments that you got from your fans. <laughs> oh my so, god, it's like a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> so Jody says hi, Kara May. So that's from Jody that's Griffin. So cool. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mo. And then Daphne, she says hi, Kara May. Hey, hi, Daphne. Hi, and Daphne. <laughs> so then you have you have Rose Smith, who's saying hi, Kara May. Your cousin yeah, Rose so from so Florida, so, so proud of you. Um, Tom and Laura Davis. Oh well, that's just a tag. My mistake. Um, Angela Ray, she's saying that you're too hi, precious. Angela. Uh, Tanise Henson said, that's my baby. Say hi, Nay. 
Hi, Nick. <laughs> so Maya Davis says, oh, my gosh, this is so cute. That's and then Daphne Bye. said, <laughs> then Daphne <laughs> says again, she is so adorable. <laughs> and then <laughs> Jody Griff is saying, amen. Um, Joy Uren says, she's so proud of you. Stay beautiful inside and out. Aww. And then Angela Ray said again, ah, she is forgiven. <laughs> For um, when you did the, when we were doing the spoiler alert. This is all of my family. Yeah. Yeah. You got you. some very supportive family members, which I would and say is a big family. support system. That helps a lot. Let's see. Um, Denise Henson said, that's my best friend. Yes. Oh, hi, Denise. <laughs> and then Kaylee Lewis says, Kara May, you are awesome. Hey, Kaylee. Hi, and Kaylee. then Daphne, she's saying, hey, Chrissy, love you guys. Hi, Aunt Maya Davis, oh, my God, I just love this child. <laughs> um, again, she's got, she says she's got such a pure heart. Oh, no, Denise Henson's over here crying. Hopefully happy tears. <laughs> she's pregnant. Those are hormone tears. Oh, my God. They never end. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. They never end. I will cry at the most smallest, most mon I mean, It could be a commercial Mommy for tears, something. Yeah, they don't go away. They never go away. <laughs> they don't. Just, no, you're going to be crying for the rest of your life. It, or, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, congratulations on being pregnant, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, Daphne, so I love these people who's best. I'm That's sorry. Gonna be my cousin. That is going to be your cousin. That's good. Um, Tashonda says, hey, Kara girl, love you so much. Love Coach T. <laughs> Say hey, Coach T. Hey, Coach T. Wow, there's so many more. Okay, Addie loves you from Maya Davis. Tanise, I know this is amazing. Love you, Daddy Joe. Um, Daphne, she is so amazing. Oh, wait, this is you I saying it. Kara Khan says, I love Kara May. Oh, oh, that's not you. That's Kara Addis. Oh, where? Um, Dad Khan says, okay. Oh, that's uh, her daddy. That's oh, daddy. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. See, even your dad's watching. Daddy. In that case, thank you so daddy. much for all that you're doing right now. Your family is obviously making a lot of sacrifices by not having you around, but we really appreciate everything that you're doing to keep us all safe and healthy. Oh I want to make sure I say that to him as well. Love you, Daddy. Is there anything else you want to say to your dad? I'm, a, I'm literally tearing. Oh, okay. Tearing? We won't make you cry. Daddy's nope. Happy we won't make you yeah. cry. Yeah, he wanted to make sure to tell you that he's watching. Um, let's see. Yeah. Daphne says, Aunt said, I love you. And Anne said, hey. Hey, uh, Anne. Oh, guess who's in the building? Great interview. Anna Slay from Device Talent. She's there hey, as well. Hey, <laughs> so Sally says, Mama loves you. That's so proud of you. <laughs> I was wondering if there was going to be any questions. Hi, Mama. I don't think so. I think I it's think all it's all uh, loves and loves and loves. And like we can all do with more love. So I don't mind reading them all. That was amazing. So sweet. So that much. Awesome. So much great family support. I'm going to call daddy right now and say, okay. you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. we'll, call your well, he's still watching. <laughs> so you can talk yeah, so let's talk a little bit more, just a little bit, since it's 6.30, I, I want to be mindful of time, and I'm sure it's got to be close to dinner time for you as well. Now, so tonight is going to be your big debut. What are you doing special to watch it? We are going to be having a little party. Ah. With, with just us. With <laughs> just us, right. You're getting Mommy, a cake. is Aubrey going to stay? No, it's just our family. Well, are you going to have any special snacks or do a red carpet dance? We mm -hmm. do. <laughs> well, if you post any of that to Instagram, make sure you tag me. I want to make sure I see it and don't miss we'll it. Tag okay. Your cake. <gasps> oh, and you get a cake? And your yeah. uncle sent you flowers. Yay. Oh, wow. That, Hi, Uncle Peanut. That is so sweet. How exciting. It really is exciting. <laughs> we're gonna now, make like we're gonna uh -huh. make like a little party for me, and it's gonna be like really happy. I'm gonna be really happy. Well, I, I have to ask. I'll oh, go ahead. I get to wear like a little fancy outfit, and I'm gonna be so excited. So you like getting dressed up in all those fancy dresses you have to wear for pageant? I do. I love dressing up. And the, now, how about with the makeup? 
Do you uh, like getting your makeup done? Yeah, I love doing my makeup, and I'm not a big fan of mascara, <laughs> and I don't like stuff near my eyes. I That's a very eyes, common thing. I don't like things under my eyes and on my eyes. You're very lucky you have very long lashes, so you don't really yes. have to worry about wearing <laughs> fake lashes as well. Daddy. daddy, if you're hearing me, I got these from you. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you give her, him credit for it as well. That's you guys missed baby. it. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. You guys missed it when, because um, the dog distracted you guys. But in the video, I wrote something about, so where does she get all her sass from? And then it was the cute video that you sent me of you and your husband dancing. And then you were <laughs> oh, yeah. pointing to your shirts. Now, what is it that was on your shirts? So our motto is kill them with calmness. Kill them with kindness. So instead of kill them with kindness, we always say kill them with calmness. I like we, it. Because this is such a kind soul. She is honestly a tender, kind soul. That's so much sass can be so tender. So we always just say, give it, you know, kill him with kindness. Be us. Oh, that's so cute. It's mixed with sass and kindness together. <laughs> kindness. <laughs> You're going to have to get that um, trademark so no one else can use it. We're going to have to. Yeah. There's not cons around here, so we're safe. Yeah, there's no one else. There's a lot up this way. Thing, so we're good. Really? Yeah. I think so. Because, um, funny enough, my husband works for UPS, and so, uh -huh. like, sometimes, I don't know why, but Cower is my last name. Con, for some reason, every once in a while, we'll get that. Or there's um, a Cower spelt without an E, and, yeah. It so. is close. We'll see. Oh, and like with my daughter at school, I'll see it on the name list and everything. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cons right behind her oh. from having the last name K. But I was like, ah, I wonder. We're the only one in our area. Oh, wow. I Come on up you, this way. I have uh, 11 letters in my name. Okay. And I have four, three, four. All my mom, all, all my mom's daughters have three, four, th four, four, three, four. Oh, so you're into numbers. Mm -hmm. That's right. You did say that your favorite classes were math and science. And mommy's an English teacher. Right. So how is that for you? Balancing not only teaching I your teach. kids, but now you're teaching your students as well. How is that balancing out? So it is a very different type of thing. I have to be, you know, mommy and teacher all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So like she said, we set our, my, my bedroom up into a classroom. So we have a little section. She has her classroom area. We have a bulletin board. Um, we have a whiteboard for her spelling words. And I have a whiteboard for our activities. Mm. And when I'm on school, when I'm on Zoom, she's doing homework. And then we switch and she gets on Zoom. And I take a moment to organize. And then I get back on. Oh, so wow. we, we are definitely utilizing my bedroom as a classroom. <laughs> now, are there any tips that you would give to parents who, because you're, you're teaching eighth grade, my daughter's in sixth grade, so I, I'm curious, do you school. have any, right, okay, high school, oh, I'm sorry, yes. I, I don't know where I got eighth grade from. So I teach ninth, eleventh, and twelfth. Oh, wow. The twelfth is the hardest, I can so only imagine. Our tips, our tips to make it successful is to just be easy, give yourself a break. Okay. Um, we do not always do it the exact way with a regiment. Um, sometimes if she's feeling like just doing her math, she'll sit there and do her math for the week. If she wants to do some reading, we'll do some reading. So we don't always follow the exact schedule. Sorry, Miss Perry. But we, do, <laughs> <laughs> we do it our way. Right. And, well, and we get it done. So we don't leave it in the package. Mommy will just pick certain things and then to whatever you're feeling that day yeah yeah and then and we get it done miss fair it's not what you think it's <laughs> not like we're just not skipping homework we're doing it yeah, we're just doing, we're just doing it. it at your own pace no that makes sense i think with everything that's going on you're allowed to do things when you want to do them i think trying to overdo it or stick too much to a schedule it's just it's too restricting and you're already under so many other restrictions. There's no point in putting more on yourself. So and your mom, it takes, that's away, you. it takes away the bonding moment that we mm -hmm. could have. If we were sitting there yelling and screaming at one another, oh it would take away our bonding moment of getting to see her grow and getting to see her learn. 
Right. I have to say that's been my main reason why I never wanted to homeschool. And now that I'm having to do it, I'm like, wait, I actually enjoy this <laughs> in the sense that we do have that time to spend together. But luckily it's her teachers because she's in the sixth grade. So it's not as much hands on for me, mm-hmm. but it's that time when she's not doing school stuff that we can talk and she's telling me right away what she learned as opposed to the whole eight hours. She's done like a thousand different things that yes. by the time she comes home, she's completely exhausted and too hungry to talk. So I'm really enjoying it. Well, we anyway, do a lot more science stuff and okay. we got to go out when they were studying rocks. We went and last found week, rocks. Last week. Oh, we fun. And we learned about some and Terry. Igneous, and we learned about meta, meta, metamorphic, metamorphic rocks. <laughs> oh wow, that has to be a lot of fun. And when Daddy was here, he helped you make a. He took you fishing to learn about. Yeah, and we also the. I think we still have it over there somewhere, <laughs> but we got water, lily pads, seaweed, and bugs in it, and so and grass. It was Daddy did cool. that. Daddy took her. That to do definitely that sounds like a daddy job. <laughs> and we also went fishing. We catch no fish, luckily. Yeah, you want to hear a funny story about the first time I went fishing? Yes. So I'm a very much a city girl, but my mom bought a house in the middle of the country here in North Carolina, and they took me fishing, and I didn't know about the fishes when they thin out, so. Mm-hmm. He, I was able, well, I didn't do the worming part or whatever it's called when you put the worm on the hook. But when I actually caught a fish, I almost jumped off the boat, first of all, out of excitement, which was not a good move. (laughs) Don't suggest that. And then when, um, because I didn't know about the fish that they thin out when you, Uh clearly they're trying to prevent being attacked or whatever. And so when he did that, I just dropped it right back out in the ocean or back in the pond. So, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at fishing. I, my husband's probably shaking his head. I am not good at it. He doesn't oh. take me. So the mm-hmm. second time, because somebody gave me a hook again, and this time is my last time. It was at my mom's house again. And um, I did this commercial for Cabela's, and they taught us how to fly fish. But oh wow, it was fly fishing with fake hooks, so you didn't have to worry about hitting anyone. It was just like a weighted hook or something. I don't even remember. But uh-huh. So when... I had this fishing rod. I was like, ooh, I'm going to try that again. And I started doing it. And next thing you know, I'm hearing my mom go, ow. I'm like, what? I had hooked her in the um, derriere by accident. Oh. <gasps> That's yep. bad. That's yep. Good. So nobody Daddy, trusts me with nature Daddy stuff anymore. Slinged it. Daddy, if you remember, if you're still watching, if you he remember is. this. You remember when you tried to swing and I tried to be swinged at the same time and we both caught each other's shoe or pants? It was a disaster. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys just got each other's clothes. Not mine. It was confusing. Oh, that's hilarious. So, yep, he's he's still here. He actually said that the sass, yes, that's for, those are from dad. <laughs> and then he pays Chrissy a great compliment and said that you're mom of the year. Happy Aww. early Mother's Day on that note as well. That's because he's missing our anniversary and Mother's Day. That's tough. Well, I mean, I'm sure sure you can find a virtual way to celebrate. We will. How long have you guys been together? This will be eight years, right? Oh, congratulations. Eight. Eight. If she can't remember the date, I think you're safe. Just saying, Dad. (laughs) I'm more of the, yeah, I forget. It's eight years. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but I was about to say, you've been, you had seven years of anniversary and you've been married for seven We've years. We've been married longer than you've been born. Of course you have. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, wait, Shana Roberts says mom exactly. and teacher of the it year. It makes no sense. You're right. I couldn't have had you if I wasn't married. It makes no sense. <laughs> None at all. So, um, again, I want to make sure that if there's anything else you guys want to share before we go, I'm going to write down I am Kara May as your Instagram. Make sure I share that out. But is there anything else? Uh, Say, how about all your pageant friends, everybody? Tell them everybody thank you and always supporting you. Bye, Model Mavens. I love you. Thank you for supporting me. EP. I love you guys. Thank you. Daddy, I still love you. I'm so glad you're not missing.
missing uh, Father's Day. Oh yeah, that'll be great. Hopefully, he will be home by Father's Day. Have they tell Have they told you a date that he'll be back yet? Hopefully by Father's Day. So hopefully by the early part of June, he'll be home. And oh. also, Daddy and Daddy, me and you will discuss a present on um uh, on on Face my time. iPad and FaceTime. So and mommy will be in another room and uh me and mommy will go shopping to go buy it and i'll tell her to close her eyes so <laughs> oh that's a good way because amazon can be a tattletale with the emails that's very smart to try to shop and hide it from her just make sure you're being safe there right mm-hmm. you have a mask I don't know how many years it's been, but I think it was two years ago. I bought mommy her favorite lady cooking book, and uh, daddy bought her a case. Daddy, remember for Mother's Day last year, you bought her a case or a mm-hmm. Christmas present, and with the spatulas and a case of and containers in a case. So now she just has like a full set. Yes. <laughs> oh, great time to kind of tell him what would you like for Mother's Day. What would I like for Mother's Day? Just my babies. <gasps> Just I love. I know. I'm going to get you a new apron. I mean, something he can apron. buy you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but here's a good time to let him know. Yeah. <laughs> or paint. Yeah, you did paint my apron last year. I want to paint, paint it cute this year. Can you tell everybody thank you so much? Thank Thomas you. Camille, thank you. Thank you. It was thank my pleasure. Today. Thank you guys so much for being my guest today, and I hope you have a wonderful up. Oh, have a great premiere party tonight! Congratulations! Thank you. So we're all gonna be watching NBC's da- um, Ca- Council of Dads, right? Yes. Ten okay. o'clock. Ten o'clock Ten tonight, o'clock. Eastern sure. Time. We'll be there. Well, I'm definitely gonna try to stay awake for it. <laughs> all right. Well, you so guys. The have first a- episode oh. is the premiere. So the second episode that airs at ten. So there's one at nine, and then oh. two's at ten p.m. Oh, so is she in the nine o'clock one or the ten o'clock one? The ten o'clock. Okay. So okay. So I had the right time, but yep. there's two. So ten o'clock. I gotta start so. watching at nine. Oh, we gotta hurry up. Gotta get ready for your party. We gotta set up the food for us. <laughs> All right. And well, thank you again for being guest today. I was just making sure there was no more. There weren't any questions. Well, yep. Just looks like a lot of love. <laughs> and yeah. Thank you, everybody. We, we feel the love. <laughs> I really want to meet Ronda Rousey. AJ, AJ, um, some, some, I don't know who, but she got kicked out of WWE. She left. Oh, AJ? Yeah, she left. And so now she does it. They don't have any of her. But her. Ronda Rousey, you would love to meet one. Yes, I would love. Oh, to meet right. Ronda I Rousey forgot she went to WWE because she used to be um, a UFC fighter. Mm-hmm. And now she does WWE. I might have to start watching WWE. This sounds like a lot of fun. Karate or something. She watches a lot of it. We just hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I can, well, yeah, I don't even want to age myself. I won't say who I grew up listening to. What? Facts. And I watch them, and they did, I give them facts about them. Oh, well, Charlotte I'll Fair have to... is an, um, Charlotte Fair is an amazing fighter. Charlotte Fair? <laughs> yeah. Got it. And Sasha I just Banks. love it. Uh, a Sasha pageant Banks. girl whose favorite things are shark, science, and WWE. <laughs> I know oh, a lot of characters. Myself. I know. She's just a weird, eclectic mix of caramel. I know, I know Alicia fun. Fox, Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks. Okay. Can Lacey. you focus and say bye? Bye. Bye. It was bye. such a Thank pleasure you having you. Hopefully I'll get to work with you one day. Yes. That will be great. Well, thank you again for being on the eSpot today. Bye. bye. Have a great Mother's Day. Thank you. You All right, too. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot about getting your about getting your kids in pageants or whether you're interested in acting. You gotta hear straight from a kid's mouth that it's fun. Go for it. And also I want to make sure I mention don't forget to sign up on my Instagram. I have a wonderful contest going right now where you could win a ton of skincare from Glow Skincare Beauty. You can win a toy from Laura DiCarlo. I feel inappropriate saying what kind of toy, considering a lot of you might be kids. But 
It's not for kids 18 and older to participate. You could win a pair of beautiful Olivia Gatewood paper earrings like the ones I'm wearing now or the ones I was wearing earlier today because I wanted to switch them out so you make sure you saw the different options that there are. Okay, well, oh, joys of being dyslexic. There you go. Anyway, um, and did I say three things? Yes, I did. And make sure you follow me as well on Instagram. I am so excited about today's guest. We had so much fun. We had Miss USA today and then Kara May, how adorable. And the fun doesn't stop, you guys, because tomorrow is Miss North Carolina USA, Miss Teen North Carolina USA. So, and my dear coach, Miss, she's Miss Carrie because she had to go up a division, but she was also Miss North Carolina. She's going to be here, Vera Morris, and we're going to share more about when I lost the crown. <laughs> Anyway, just kidding. All right. Well, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great night and take care of each other. Stay well and see you again tomorrow.